All right, first thing we need to do is add our XP machine to our domain. Uh, to get that set up, we need to go into the network settings and configure our NIC card first. Because if the XP machine can't find the Active Directory, it won't be able to add itself. So, uh, in this class, let's see what the XP or the uh, server's IP settings are. what So, let's see what the server is set to. Alright, this server is 7010, gateway is 641. So I'll switch over to my XP, I want to change this to 7015, 641. I'll change this to 7010. So now it's going to get its DNS references from the server. Log on to vMachines, student, password 01. Uh, let's check the computer name. Alright, Miller Workstation, let's change it. Now we're going to add it to the domain. It's asking for an account authorized to do this, so add in it. And that'll require a restart. Back on the server, if I go and check my administrative tools, Active Directory, User, and Computers, we'll see that workstation is being added. <coughs> so, now my workstation is a member of the domain. I can log in as an administrator on my XP workstation. And I want to make sure I'm logging on to the domain and not the workstation to the domain. And now I'm ready to edit my files and do a bulk import of uh, users.